since you guys have seen video from me, I'm so sorry that it has been. I haven't been home the past two weeks. I've been gone, um, out at work. Um, literally have not been home, but I'm so happy to be back at home, even if it is for only a couple of days before I have to go out again for about another uh, week. But here it is, the Apple event for you guys. Um, this one I am so excited. It is going to be October 30th. This is the one of the latest events that Apple has done. Also, the strangest since it's 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, as you can see, it is it says scary fast. Um, I'm excited for it. I like the dark logos. I love the dark fonts being used and the finder on the Mac. Uh, so it will be a Mac event. Do not expect iPads and things like that. Expect pretty much only Mac launching. Reason being also everyone has put it out there that there will be new Macs. What new Macs? We will see i am 100 percent expecting it to be the m3 and i think everybody else is as well it will be the event to watch because this is going to be one of the first times apple has caught us off guard with an event for october and also the timing also the day before halloween to launch a new silicon is going to be super interesting the imac is going to be i believe the first device that they probably speak with regarding the m3 it is going to be absolutely awesome to see it finally get updated from the m1 uh, to the m3 remember it did not get an m2 uh, we also expect a, the macbook air 13 inch to also get the m3 chip as well um, it's going to be the first three nanometer processor on um, TSMC's chip line. So before they've been using five nanometers with the M1 and M2, they will finally be able to harness the power of a three nanometer, which will make it a lot more powerful. Um, expect anywhere, anywhere from 20 to 30% gain in CPU and GPU power over the M2, which is scary fast because the M2 is very fast. So it's gonna be very interesting to see that. Uh, upgrade to likely Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3. Um, expected to stay the exact same looks wise. I expect maybe an extra port if that. Um, also, I, and just a silicon update, I don't expect there to be a hardware update. USB-C accessories are 100% coming. Obviously, there's gonna be new Magic Mouse and Magic Trackpads and a Magic Keyboard that will all be getting USB-Cs, ditching the Lightning port as Apple has finally adopted all USB-Cs with the last one pretty much being the iPhones being the last barrier of entry. Also to watch out for, um, like I mentioned, I think I believe the MacBook Air will also be updated. I don't know if the Mac Mini will be updated. Possibly, it, it very well could happen. A Mac Pro that could be interesting. Um, there are some there's some rumors that also the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro would be dropping, but I don't believe so as they just dropped in January. I get it. The way that they dropped those, it was supposed to be part of their fall of it that they did last year um this was dropped then but uh had to be pushed back because of delays in mac sales and also a delay in chips so i don't see them upgrading in the same year the macbook pro to all of a sudden the m3 pro and m3 uh, max we've never seen all the chips be released on the same event it's always one event just for the M for the M3s and then one event for the threes uh, for the pros and max and then another event usually technically for the ultra. So I do not see that um, being the one to, to do it with, um, but it's going to be interesting. I am extremely hopeful that the M3 uh, chips are going to be phenomenal and I do totally believe that they will be. I think you are going to see um, great things at this event. I do think it'll be short. I think it'll be maybe an hour, um, to be honest, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. It's gonna be a short event. They're not gonna be releasing too much. So I don't think they need 
um, to even, to go longer than an hour at all. I think it'll be pretty short and brief in terms of what they will be putting out there, and that will be introducing the M3 chip first, then the iMac with the M3 in it, along with the accessories, um, and then I will then I believe it will be the MacBook Air and the 13-inch MacBook Pro with the Touch Bar. Those will be the devices that they put out with the M3 chipset. That will be the entire event. After that, you will see press releases on, on certain items um, that they didn't really want to get into more details about. Um, that's really, I think, going to be it. iPads, no iPads likely this year. Um, if there is going to be an update to the iPads, it will be November time. Maybe a little press release if, if they decide to drop one of the Macs or one of the iPads that desperately need it. The I, iPad Mini 6 is the number one that needs it, along with the iPad Air that needs an update as well. Um, then the third one probably would then be an iPad, uh, the original, uh, the regular iPad, I should say, will then probably be the third iPad to needing some type of update on chipsets but other than that i think it will be pretty self-explanatory what they're doing what they're putting in to all their silicon um, and all their products the m3 introduction will be scary fast and if you <clears throat> have any questions regarding that you can definitely just watch this and see that it will be an absolute great event. Like I said, it's going to be at 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time. It is a streaming only event. It's going to be on YouTube. Um, awesome. Can't wait to see it. Going to be very interesting um, if there's going to be anything along with it. I would hope and I am and I know this is far fetched, but I do think the most far fetched possibility. I'm going to put it out there, but I also think should happen, but probably not in a sense, is going to be new Mac, um, no, sorry, new AirPod Pro Mac, no, AirPod Max, sorry, uh, the big headphone sets. I think those desperately need an update, and if Apple really wanted to show Scary Fast, that they would do it with the AirPods Max and really give us a great product. Um, all I'm really looking for is just a new case and updated hardware, or I'm sorry, updated yeah, uh, uh, updated chipsets. Um, that's it. That's all I really care. Oh, and changing it over to USB C instead of uh, Lightning would be the only updates that they would need to do to it. I think those are pretty minimal, pretty easy to definitely do. If you are a Apple fan, I know you're looking forward to it. Make sure to stay tuned for the latest Apple news. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching my latest video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.